Hey guys, Dr. J here. We're gonna go over the top five ways thyroid hormone is essential for optimizing your hair growth. Now again, when you have androgen alopecia, right? This is gonna be the male pattern ball in this situation. It may be a little bit different because DHT and the alpha reductase enzyme accumulates as you age and that can, DHT increases can definitely impact hair growth independent of thyroid. When we see thyroid issues, we're kind of more in that telogen effluvium type of pathway, that broad diffuse hair thinning. But here's how thyroid hormone has an impact. So first off, thyroid hormone increases mitochondria activation. So the more you increase your metabolism, healthier metabolism, you're gonna have increased hair growth by just the factor of higher metabolism, more ATP, that ATP is gonna fuel more hair growth on it. Next, we have our antigen, our catagen, and our telogen kind of growth phases, right? Antigen is growth. Our catagen is when that hair follicle breaks off. Our telogen is where the hair follicle rests and the cycle repeats. That antigen growth phase, which is like usually a five to seven year growth phase, we're gonna stimulate that with more thyroid hormone. So you're gonna spend more time with that hair follicle in a growth phase. Similar to how minoxidil works. Minoxidil basically increases that antigen growth phase. Next, we're stimulating certain genes that increase keratin production. So our hair is just keratin, it's made out of protein, right? And so we have to have good digestion, good gut absorption. So if you have gut issues, that could be a whole separate podcast here. But again, essentially, we're gonna activate certain gene proteins that are gonna take that keratin and allow us to utilize it better for hair growth. Next one is blood growth to the scalp. We have a, a peptide or a compound known as VEGF, vasoendothelial growth factor. That's gonna stimulate more blood flow to the follicle. So the healthier our thyroid hormone is, healthier metabolism, that VEGF growth factor is gonna stimulate more blood flow to that hair follicle, which is good as well. And my last one on the list here, we're waking up certain stem cells. So there's two major stem cells. There's the mitogen activator protein kinase, MAPK, as well as the ERK. These are different stem cell activator proteins, and they are gonna essentially wake up and tell dormant follicles to be more active. So those are the big five mechanisms. It's gonna be through mitochondrial function, it's gonna be through growth function, it's gonna be through blood flow, it's gonna be through more antigen growth phase, and it's gonna wake up these dormant stem cells with the MAPK and the ERK pathway. So I hope this makes sense. So if you have chronic hair loss, and let's say you wanna rule out thyroid, that's a really important thing you wanna cross off just to make sure that that's not an issue. Other signs to look for, cold hands, cold feet, uh, eyebrow thinning as well, fatigue, uh, there's a couple of good things you wanna look at. So especially the cold hands, cold feet. Now there also could be an adrenal female hormone, male hormone overlap. So you wanna look at all the hormones, not just go in on thyroid. Again, more information, check out my book at thethyroidreboot.com.